Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Blazekill and today we are back with another video. In today's video, I want to talk about the new item that came out just this Thanksgiving update and what it can be used for. This is the cornucopia right here and you can see where I'm going with this. It's basketball. It, could n it doesn't have to be basketball though. It could be a variety of other different games that you could play with a ball and this is of course our basket. Now if you take a look at this, let me get this out of here. It has such a unique structure. It's getting dark so let me, let me move this toward the light. It's like a, a braided wood texture, right? It reminds me of a basket, and it really is kind of a basketish thing, and, and you know, cornucopia is, or tends to be, at least. Now, if you don't know, basketball actually used to be played with an actual basket like this. I'll put some pictures in the screen right now if I remember to do so. But this came, you know, this gave me the idea. Hey, we could totally make a basketball hoop, and that is the 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 theme, the tutorial here for today's video. And again, it's not only a basketball hoop. It could be a variety of other games that you could play with the basket. So say you have, I don't know, some, some different squares here, and you place a cornucopia on this square, then this square, this square, and you're like, hey, the middle one is 50 points, the other ones are 10 and 20. Get into the middle one with your with your ball, right? There's, there's tons of, of different games you could play with this, but this one seems the most obvious to me. Um, let's just start making it. I mean, it's really not going to require much. Just get yourself a, a smooth wall, uh, like a skinnier one like this one. Get yourself also uh, like a short fence. Like this one technically will work, and so will this, this shorter short fence, and uh, just some ladders, pretty much to, to, to get on the back. And then of course some different types of wood if you want. Again, this is fully adjustable. You can have this hoop be lower than it is. You can have it be higher than it is. Again, you don't have to even make a hoop to begin with. But this is a tutorial on how to make a basketball hoop. Let's just get started right here. It's getting kind of dark, so let's try to move toward the light here. Um, but yeah, so place. Uh, two rows of this. I'm just going to show you guys how to make it based on what I did earlier. So do two rows as so. Make sure they're on the like they're right on top of one, one another. I'm going to have it this out of this material. This is just the normal oak wood here. So fill those here. And then pretty much right off the bat, I'm probably just going to go get a ladder and go in the back of here because we're going to need to be. Um, you know, when our ball is in the cornucopia or just placing the cornucopia itself inside of the basket, it's going to be helpful to have some way to actually get it up there in the first place. So I'm going to place four ladder, ladders on top of one another, again, with this design that I'm going with. I'm going to fill those up and I'll, I'll be back when I do so. All right, now once you have done that, I'm going to grab my, myself some uh, short fence here, like the shorter short fence. There's two of them labeled short fence, which is kind of confusing. Now I'm going to rotate this this side. So I can get you know it looking symmetrical here, and then I'm gonna fill it again. You can choose whatever wood you want. It's probably the woods I'm using are probably not the best because it's not gonna stand out as much. Uh, but the cornucopia, when you you'll see in a second, makes it kind of visible what it is or where it is. Because right now it kind of doesn't look like a basketball hoop too much. It looks alright. It looks alright. This is just a basic again design. You could totally tweak this however you you like in terms of size, in terms of shape, and everything like that in terms of what blueprints you use. Next, I'm gonna grab myself a floor. I didn't tell you guys you needed this, sorry about that, but I'm gonna grab myself a tiny floor just to form the hoop side of things. I was a little bit confused on how, you know, how large or how small I should make the actual hoop because the cornucopia is pretty massive and you'll see the basket doesn't really look exactly like a basket uh, in large part because of like the curvature of the cornucopia. Um, but I'm gonna go out three here. Actually, let's... What did I do for this one? Yeah, I went out. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go out two for each one of that. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm going to grab myself uh, a post here just because it's a four by one. If, if you don't have a post, don't worry about it. Just keep using your uh, one by ones. But I'm going to use the post just because it is a four by one. And I'm going to try to attach it to the end of these here. As so. Again, these you could easily do that with four one by ones. But I'm just doing that to save some time and save some wood. Then I'm going to fill all these up and I'll right, be back. Now we are as so. We have followed this pretty good. Um, I'm going to grab now my cornucopia. And it's, this is the, this is probably the hardest part of the whole thing, getting it uh, up there. I'm going to rotate it like here. You, you don't have to rotate it right now yet if you don't want to, but it does get a little bit tricky to rotate it up there. As you can see, I already dropped it. I don't know where it went. Yeah, so holding on to this thing is going to be the hard part, especially going up the ladder. Once you're up there, be very careful. Kind of tilt the... The horn of the thing in there and then as so you can rotate and adjust it as you as needed but that's all right for now this is for the sake of the video and for the sake of just a quick tutorial for you guys you can try to rotate it a bit if you want and then grab yourself a ball you know it doesn't have to be a ball 
I'm just trying to think what else you would be able to use here. I mean, hopefully you have some sort of ball. It doesn't have to be a yellow ball or an orange, sorry, for like the basketball, typical color of a basketball. It can You can use a variety of things. A lump, a lump of coal, if you have that, like a wobble head. Uh, I'm sure there are a variety of things that might work with this, especially since this, where, where is it? Yeah, especially since this hoop is pretty big. But just to demonstrate, you know, you're playing with your friends, for example. Hopefully you're not playing alone. <laughs> you're playing some some sort of game with your friends, or you're playing alone. Hey, that's totally cool. I mean, if you're if you're one to play alone, then I respect that. That's kind of how I rock too. But I'm gonna grab my basketball. You can jump pretty high to get this in there. Um, you, you can adjust the hoop a little bit, so it's a little easier to get in. But as you can see, the basketball is in there, and I know it's a, it's it's <laughs> kind of hard to hard to uh, get out and you might just want to make a basketball hoop without the cornucopia, right? You can totally do it without this so that it goes through. But hey, old fashioned basketball didn't used to be like that. It used to have an actual basket where you'd have to grab it out of there every single time. So um, that's how you make a basketball hoop. Again, you don't, you don't need the cornucopia, but I, I thought, hey, this is pretty much like a basket and it can be used for basketball. It can be used for a variety of other games. Just use your imagination. You got a ball, you got a basket, make some fun games, some carnival games or something like that out of this, or make a basketball hoop. So hope you guys did enjoy. Hope this taught you something new. Um, again, the Christmas event is coming up very soon, but I wanted to give you guys something to do, something to do until then uh, with this new cornucopia item. So hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and turn the bell on so that you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Without further ado, though, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.